Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or seeking to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as clinical psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Richard, today we're going to talk about the relationship between our behaviors in adulthood mm-hmm. to some of our experiences in childhood. Right, right. And this comes to us from an from a article that we read from PsychReg uh, entitled, The Fatal Flaw Found in Adulthood. Right. And unlike another talk that we did where we were intrigued by the title, The Science of Meditation, this one, th- the article was very good. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I read it, but I, I, I was interested in what is what could possibly be the fatal flaw. Right. I don't know that it's ever really answered in the article. Yeah. But I'm glad I read the article because there's um, considerable considerable amount of very useful information in this one. Yeah. This is a gem. This is a good one. Well, I, I think the author uses the word fatal flaw because it comes from a book called Running on Empty by uh, Janice Webb. Uh, she right. talks about it, mm-hmm. but I don't know... I, I don't, I, we'll have to go back to that book to really see where that comes from. You don't have that book. No, I don't have that book. I so. might have to get, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, mm-hmm. in, um, I, I have an idea of what she's saying in there, but I think I'd like to take a closer look at it. Yeah. Running yeah. on empty. Right. Mm-hmm. But what this article does is it kind of outlines some of the behaviors that we find ourselves engaging in or, or experiencing in adulthood that oftentimes has some roots in childhood. Right. Yeah, what he talks about here is that, and and it's a common experience, Mm -hmm. and the common experience is we all have a case of the blues once in a while. Mm -hmm. We we wake up and we just feel out of sorts. Not sure why, there's no really good explanation for it, but we just sort of feel like things are not right with the world, or I should be happy and I'm not. Yeah, that, that anticipation of everything will be great as soon as That happens. That's right. As soon as this comes about. And that's the other feeling that we all get is that no matter how good things are, you know, you always have this feeling that, Mm -hmm. that things should. And, and, you know, if, when I get my new car, Mm -hmm. you know, you and I drive, you and I always drive old cars because to us it's transportation. Right. Not, not our identity. Yeah. So, um, but you get these feelings like, well, when I get my new car, I'll feel better. Mm-hmm. When I move into the new house, I'll feel better. Right. When I get this job, I'll feel. Better. When I make my, when I make over a hundred thousand dollars a year, everything will be fine. Mm-hmm. You know? And we we con- we have these things. Mm-hmm. Um, only if things. Right. You know? Only if I was. Um, but it, and then you get there, and it's not nearly as what you had anticipated. Right. You know, it's right. like, anticipating Christmas is never right. as good as you anticipate. So, um, so there's two things. There's these feelings that creep up on you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and, and you get sort of depressed mm-hmm. for no reason. And then the other thing is, is, uh, you know, I'll feel better when mm-hmm. okay. sort of an insatiable. And these are very, very if. normal human, yeah. um, feelings or emotions. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, the author kind of pulls those back to, uh, sort of one of two extremes, uh, right. if we're on a spectra, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, the, uh, of um, between childhood neglect right. and sort of overindulgence. Right. Where do, where do the, why do these feelings creep up on us? Right. You know? um, or the other thing that we, we didn't mention in the beginning was sometimes you, you find yourself getting really angry. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, you, you suddenly have a short fuse right. and you say, well, why, where did that come from? Right, you right. Know, that, that sort of, where, why am I feeling this way? Or why am I so angry? Or um, you usually know why you're angry. It's usually about the computer. Oh, yeah. But you don't get it. Well, you don't really get angry. I try not to. No, that's very good. Yeah. Well, not here. Do, there are places. Man, when my soccer team's not playing right... You don't. I didn't notice it. I watched you. Yeah, coaching it's frustrating. Them and they were making some mistakes. <laughs> and you were very well. You started to walk. Yeah, you got up from. You were sitting. I had removed myself from the situation. And you sort of stood up and. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, and they were, yeah. your footprints were. Yeah. 
burning it into the grass. Mm-hmm, okay. mm-hmm. So, so, but, but you do, you get these um, heightened emotional responses and you say, wow, where did that come from? Yeah. So we have these feelings, we have these reactions, and he's saying, this author is saying, that, that some of this may be rooted in these early experiences that we have in, in childhood. Right. And, and so, again, we thought we, thought we would talk a little bit mm-hmm. about them, uh, the two extremes. Right. And, and we probably need to do a podcast, maybe a, one of our longer podcasts, on especially this first one, the, the childhood emotional neglect. I really like this concept. Right. I, I, I never had, have seen this before. Right. I love the idea of childhood emotional neglect. They um, shortened to CEM. Right. Okay. Yeah. Love the concept. Yeah. I mean, we've talked before on podcasts and with our patients about. Uh, what we call benign neglect. And that, that is, mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to overindulge your kids. You don't have to give them everything that they want. You don't have to, you know, uh, especially as they get older, you don't have to respond to every right. peep from them. <laughs> but with childhood emotional neglect, what we're talking about is just this this emotional separation, emotional divide between the parent and the child that creates some emotional instability, some emotional right. difficulties in managing different things in relationships. Yeah, most, when you talk to, when we talk to other adults, particularly talk to adults, um, you say, well, what was your child, how was your childhood? And they, they typically, oh, it was okay, it was good. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. we did this and we went on vacations and we had all these things. And most people report that their childhood was satisfactory. Right. Good or satisfactory. Right. Okay. What I think they're suggesting here is that under, under emotional neglect is that while it may have been satisfactory, it probably, there was probably an element of emotional neglect mm-hmm. somewhere. Right. That you even, you weren't even aware of. Right. You know, people will say, well, I was spanked as a child and I turned out okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you may have been. Right. <clears throat> but that's selective memory. Right. Nobody wants to be spanked. Right. Okay. Um, and it's the same with emotions. We probably have the same kind of selective memory. Mm-hmm. We tend to remember the good things. Right. We tend to forget the unpleasant things. Mm-hmm. Um, but the unpleasant things cling to us. Mm-hmm. We carry them right. into our into it, adulthood. Subconsciously. We, we right, subconsciously. Yeah. We, the, the, it's still there. And I think that's what they're referring to here, are these are the subconscious emotional neglect. Right. That don't appear until you begin to have intimate relationships as right. an adult right. and or we're in a position of parenting that's right and yeah. especially when you become a parent right and and suddenly you realize that there are some missing pieces mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. your own personality development mm-hmm. and i think that's what they're referring to with this uh, childhood emotional neglect right. i certainly had a benign childhood i mean i was never abused or anything but i can look back at my childhood and say yeah there were some things missing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and yeah. i think we all can yeah and what they're saying is those missing pieces don't go away. Right. They stay with you and manifest later in life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the, the other end of that is right. um, over-appraisal or over, um, over-performing, over-emphasizing right. your child. So um, this is where we get into performance trophies and some of those right. kind of things where just the mere presence um, of, a, of a person... Mm-hmm warrants a, a reward or right. some type of praise of some sort. Just because so, you participate, just because right. you're there, just you turn in the assignment so you right. can A. You so know. it's the overindulgence that mm-hmm. happens. Right. And so again, that's sort of the opposite to, of this yeah. emotional neglect that we were talking about. Right. It is, is sort of saturation of That's of a, a really a good word. Yeah, there's yeah. saturation at this end and an impoverishment or... No, I like the word saturation. Yeah, yeah, and so and so it, it, that can result in some of the same things because you have an unrealistic expectation of what you're going to get in return for a particular behavior or particular right. um, action, and, and so you're going to you know nothing is good enough or or mm-hmm. um, you know you're just not getting that. It, it, it's sort of like if every time you you pull a lever, you're expecting to get That's ten right. pieces of candy, mm-hmm. you know. When you get to the point where you pull the lever and there's only one comes out, you're, you're thinking, that's, yeah. oh my well, what's, what's going what, on? What's right. wrong? Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it's just that's how life becomes as, you, as we get older. And I think that's what people, when they have intimate relationships with an adult partner mm-hmm. or when they become parents, 
they expect so much from their right. partner because they they've received so much growing up mm -hmm. and now they have a partner and the partner saying no yeah. i don't think so i mean i like you but come on i'm not yeah. you know your parents did that right i'm not your parents right you no know, i this is not unconditional right mm -hmm. yeah so 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 if you are experiencing some of these issues and, and again we mm -hmm. refer you to the to the article at the the link will be in the show notes but right. you know check it out if you if you're experiencing some of those symptoms some of those right. automatic behaviors you know definitely if you enter into therapy yeah. you know you it would be wise to maybe explore some of those early childhood experiences to see if some of it's rooted there because then the goal is to mm -hmm. deal with what what the author is referring to as uh, as a trauma right. we're not necessarily referring to trauma not that necessarily leads to like ptsd right. or anything like that we're talking about just trauma that resulted in some reaction some mm -hmm. some negative experiences that, that resulted in a, in some reaction that's causing right. you some problems yeah if you're an adult and and even an older teenager mm -hmm. or an adult, um, and you're experiencing these feelings of sort of this itchy disquietude mm -hmm. or, or um, a, a sudden flare of emotions. Mm -hmm. You know, it may be mm -hmm. something from childhood, and you may want to you may want to revisit that. Right. Um, you could you might be able to do it yourself um, in in moments of quiet where you can go back and say, well, did I always get what I needed emotionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you may want to have a therapist walk you through it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, which would be a little more objective, a little more clinical. Uh, but you may want to, you may want to consider this approach. Right. So yeah, take a look at this article. It's really, really fascinating yeah, stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and again, the link to it will be in the show notes. Right. So, right. Mm -hmm. All right. I like this one. Yeah. So, all right, that's it for today. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and forget to be afraid. 